What's up, everyone? This is Seth from PageMaker, and today I'm going to be replicating the Starbucks hero that you see right in front of you. I'm a big fan of the Jim Fahad digital channel. If you're on YouTube, I recommend you subscribe. Uh, Jim Fahad uses Elementor to build landing pages. In, in his last video, he designed the Starbucks hero. So I wanted to design it in PageMaker, see if I can get it to look almost exact, and try to do it in a faster time. I believe with the editing and the cutting, um, it would have taken him under an hour, or if the video is true, uh, just under half hour. So I wanna to try to build something like this in PageMaker. So we're gonna begin on PageMaker, and I'm gonna head over there right now. Okay, so I am on a blank canvas. And the important thing here is I'm gonna to want to find a um, hero image where I could get the, uh, the written content on the left and the image on the right. So I think I may know of one called Mayor. And if you've used PageMaker before, you could look through heroes um, categorized. But for someone like me that knows the system very well, I'm gonna go ahead and look for that. Awesome, okay. So here, we're gonna wanna flip this because we want this hero to be exactly the same. And if you follow through his video, he shows you how he builds it through their drag and drop model. And I'll put the URL um, into uh, my bio, sorry, into the description below so that you can check out the whole build. But highly, highly recommend subscribing. Okay, so we're gonna have to flip this. So I'm gonna click on the row, and I'm gonna flip this section. The next thing I'm gonna wanna do is get that background. So I've went ahead and I found this type of background with that green circle, and I'm gonna add it as a background image. Awesome. Now, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is is throw in that beautiful product image, which I was able to find luckily enough through Google. So once I'm on Google, I was able to find it in seconds and I have it here already uploaded to PageMaker. Beautiful. I'm always gonna save my work after I do a couple things. The next thing I wanna wanna do is hide some sections because we wanna make it simple just like he's done it and we don't want to um, overcomplicate it, perfect. So you can see he has the headline, the text and the call to action button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide some elements. And you know with PageMaker, whenever you wanna hide elements, you wanna jump into your layer. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the element we wanna hide because it'll highlight. And that helps us easily figure out which one we're working with. And we're gonna click on that eye icon to hide it. Same thing with this split in four payments. It's not relevant. Now what I wanna do is something just a bit different. I wanna keep this here because I wanna make sure it's like a cool little offer. And you'll see what I do with that. Starbucks is so expensive. I would say it's probably $5.99. I, I don't go there, so I do not know. Um, it's not just a coffee, it's Starbucks, okay. It's not just a coffee. This is a bit big. Okay. Should we? I think it looks cooler that it's bigger. Awesome. Okay. Now, I'm gonna save that again. I did get the Starbucks logo, so I'm gonna throw in that Starbucks logo. It's so small, no problem. Click on that element, make sure you got uh, the size, and I'm gonna bring it to 12, which I think is perfect. I'm gonna pretend that there's some reviews. And the main purpose here is we're gonna say, in exchange for your email, join the Starbucks newsletter, you'll get a free green mochaccino, whatever these things are called. Again, I'm not a Starbucks fan. OK, 
Okay, now. We have to change this font. This font just does not go. And let's change this button. I like the Emerald 700. It looks good. We'll save it. Let's change this font. I think Montserrat would be the best. So we'll head over to our fonts. We'll find the Montserrat. Beautiful. Maybe we can go with 800, maybe 700. Let's just do 800. No. That would be 300. Okay, save it. It'll take some time to repopulate because PageMaker is now putting a new font into the landing page, so bear with me. Okay, cool, so this font looks good. Now, let's highlight, I don't think Starbucks capitalizes the B. It's not just, do they? Sorry, I gotta check that. Does Starbucks capitalize that B? No, it's always lowercase. So I'll just bold this and I'll add that green color. Uh, Emerald 700, let's see that. Awesome. that let's go back over here it's not just a cup of coffee they have learned more what we're doing is we're just saying get coupon and the idea is that people will sign up to a newsletter in exchange for this awesome uh, green mochaccina whatever you call it sign up to our newsletter and get a free and get a free green mochaccino Hurry, this offer expires 0103. Cool, okay, let's add a shadow to that. Let's add a shadow. Awesome, and I wanna add another section. In this video, he only does the hero. So it takes him some time to do the hero, but because I have a lot of time left, I wanna add more so let me add a section okay you see this we can fix it we can fix it do not give up click on the module and i believe if we head over padding towards that bottom beautiful fixed i want to change the background i want to keep everything branded at emerald 700 Let's make it deeper because it needs to be more deeper. So let's go all the way from here. Find us inside these stores. Then we are going to end it with a nice big image of a Starbucks restaurant. Beautiful. Could that be darker, that gray? What do you guys think? Yeah, it could be darker for sure. It needs to be way darker. Beautiful. Oh. That didn't go, I forgot to do that. Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna change this background image. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm, I'm gonna put a little gradient over it because I wanna have that green effect. So I'm just gonna make sure the background is highlighted to that Emerald 700. And then I wanna come over to the background image and I'm gonna play with that opacity just to give it that green look. And I know Starbucks has a cool slogan. It's like one cup. One person, one cup, one neighborhood. So here we go, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood. Cool, let me save that. So I think it's been under 10 minutes. If I'm guessing accurately and this is just the beginning I just wanted to play around and show you guys what I could do in a little bit of time and if you look it looks pretty dope maybe we should capitalize everything I just hate when it's not it looks better that way not just a coffee it's Starbucks This just a bit smaller. Okay, let's check that out. One last thing I forgot is this border. I want to make sure that it's white. Okay, sweet. All right, so that's that quick Starbucks hero that you see. And that's how PageMaker differentiates between Elementor. Elementor is awesome. Uh, before we were a SaaS tool, we were an agency and, and we used it thousands of times designing and building landing pages in that platform. And we just wanted to give you a different take on how we would build a landing page. So in this video, I'm gonna attach um, Jim Fahad's video. You can see the differences. And if you have any questions, please let us know. We're always looking to improve, always looking to get your feedback. Um, and if you haven't already, join our Facebook group. There's tons of value there. And again, thank you for supporting us. And we will be back again with another.